Okay, so if you need the ability to provide on-demand support for your team or for your clients, then Zoho Assist may be what you need. You can also set up unattended access to computers and you can host online meetings using Zoho Assist. I want you to watch as I illustrate how to set up a remote session. But first, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button to our channel so that we can bring you more useful content. Let's start with Zoho's site on Zoho Assist. If you go to zoho.com backslash assist, it will take you to the explanation of what it is, which is remote support software. It can also be set up to, um, you know, for unattended remote access to a computer. This tool is so useful, especially if you have um, customer service and you need to be able to remotely access clients' computers um, or even internally. This is a really good choice. It does integrate with Zoho Desk so that if you're using that software for tickets, you can easily start a remote session um, if you have team members and they need help with something, let's say you're all virtual, you can use this in order to access their screen, maybe walk them through or show them how to do something or do it for them. Um, so it can be used for a lot of different things. All right. Um, the pricing just depends if you're not using Zoho One, there is the pricing on um, the pricing tab. But if you're using Zoho One, it does come with Zoho One. Now we are going to Zoho One and then we're going to access Zoho Assist. If you don't already have Zoho Assist, click on the tab. Um, make sure that you add it to your Zoho One account. And then once you do, it'll be readily accessible. Um, once you go in, it'll take you to this screen initially. This screen um, is allowing you to put in the email address of the person whose screen you want to access. And then you also have the option to share your own screen and then send the email to the person you're sharing with. Once you start a session, you'll see it here at the bottom. Um, it will list it here and the history is here. So you can see past um, sessions and then of course you can mark favorites. What we're going to do is we're going to start a remote session with John. <laughs> John is a fictitious person, but his name is John. We're going to start and then we're going to send John an email right he's going to get this email inviting him to this session all right so i'm going to go in here as john and accept that invitation all right so john just accepted the invitation now he's getting a message that says he has to download an executable it only takes a second I just clicked to download it. I just double clicked it and it's scanning it. And opening it. Okay, it's done. Now we can see John's screen. And there it is. All right, you'll see here at the bottom, you can chat with that person. If you're not on the phone with them, you can send a message. Okay, now I can see that on John's screen. Then also John can um, respond. All right, there's some other options here, but this is where you can see the participants of the current session. All right, we can move this out of the way by clicking on the little arrow. You can bring it back by clicking again if you need to. And so now I am on John's screen. I am literally clicking on the tabs on his Zoho One CRM. And that's how it works. Just like that. Now, if John were to take over, he could do that at any time. He can come in here and he can click on something and change the screen just like that. Okay. All right, and as you can see, it only took a second. It wasn't a huge setup. There wasn't anything technical to do. You just invite, they click a button to download the executable, open it, and that's it.
Now you can access the screen. Okay, so let's go back and look here. This is where you can see the session that's currently going with John. It says in session and then here your here's your option to end the session when you're ready to end the session. Once you do that, it will move over to the history. So now I can see that I had a remote session with John which lasted two minutes. If there were any notes, you would see the notes here and then there's an auto report. Unattended access can be set up again if you have computers that you need to be able to access. Um, you can set that up here. There's also reports. Those are the two sessions that were with John today. It shows the IP addresses as well. So you see, you see some other, um, you know, information over here. And then downloads. One thing I want to show you guys is how to rebrand. If you want to rebrand, you'll go to the settings, click on rebranding, and here, if you notice, I'm going to go back to the features here on their website. It does show here that you can rebrand Zoho Assist to maintain your brand identity. So you can add your company logo, name, and all of that, and that's what we're doing here. If I go back here, I clicked on settings, now I'm under organization, and then rebranding. This is where that happens. So you'll add the organization name, email, phone number. This is where you can change the logo from the Zoho Assist logo to yours, and you can change this one as well, and you can name your portal. So it would be something along the lines of your business name or something simplified. Obviously, it has to be something that's not taken. So if it's taken, it'll give you an, a message letting you know. It's telling you that your company logo is going to be used in the product portal and on the email templates. Keep that in mind. You may want to use a logo that has a transparent background. Then also your company favicon will be used in the product portal and your customers join session page. So when someone's getting ready to join your session, this is the logo that they're going to see. Company name as well in the emails, join session page, and then that portal URL is used for by your technicians to log in and support your customers. All right. So Zoho Assist is really awesome. Um, the last thing I want to say is if you haven't already download our ebook a simple guide to customizing a simple system using zoho it will allow you to set up your own zoho system you don't have to have you know someone like me or like us to do it for you if you if you'd rather do it yourself this book is going to walk you through that download it if you haven't already it's absolutely free and then also at the bottom of the screen, you'll see our site, learn.successfulsolutions.com, which is where you can access some free courses. We also will have a CRM course that's coming up that will be there on the trainer site as well. All right. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time.